In this video, we're going to talk about the midpoint and the midpoint formula. So a midpoint between two points is the point that's halfway between the points on the, we'll say, imaginary line segment that they form, because generally we're not given the line segment. So what does that mean? Well, here's two points. There's one point and there's a second point. It's the point that's about halfway between them, and if they had a line segment connecting them, so if we just connect a little line segment, it would be the point that like is it directly midway between the two on that line segment. So it might be, let's say, right here-ish, roughly, plus or minus. Um, not an exact science there. Before I get into the midpoint formula, let's talk about what the midpoint is. So it's just a, it's a point that lies between exactly halfway between two other points. Um, when you're looking for the number that's halfway between two given points, that's actually called taking the average of those two points. And that's what a midpoint is. It's the average of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates. That's how you would determine the uh, x and y-coordinates for the midpoint. That's all it is. Sometimes we can get overwhelmed with formulas, but if we just think about what we're finding, maybe that will either help us remember or help us at least remember what to do. On to the formula. So we're going to do generic points here, just like I didn't define the points in my example. The midpoint of, and then we're going to have our first ordered pair be called x1, y1. The ones are just a subscript, and they just mean like this is the first ordered pair. Otherwise, they serve no purpose. If you look at the examples, you see there's no subscripts of one. Um, that, so those ones are just to say these are the first coordinates. Uh, and then the second one point we're going to call x2, y2. Again, those subscripts just indicating that that's our second ordered pair. If we want the midpoint between those two, um, it's itself a point. So we're going to open up a set of parentheses because we're going to define a point by x, y. The x coordinate of the midpoint is the average of the x coordinates. So it's going to be the average is when you take them, add them up, and divide by the number of numbers. So x1 plus x2 divided by 2. And the y coordinate is the average of the y coordinates that we're given. y1 plus y2 divided by 2. It's very common in a lot of formulas we subtract. Like in slope, it's y2 minus y1. In distance, it's y1 minus y2 or y2 minus y1. But for midpoint, again, it's an average. And in average, we add them up. So we want to be careful here that we do use the addition sign uh, instead of the subtraction sign. Looking at some examples of midpoint, we want to find the coordinates of the midpoint between the given points. If you're a formula person or if your professor requires you to use the formula, then uh, it's helpful. it might be helpful to label everything and to write down the formula repeatedly until you finally know it by heart. So we're going to call this one x1, y1, and this one x2, y2. You might be able to figure out what the average of the points is or what number is exactly halfway between them without using a formula, and I think that's great. Um, it's up to the discretion of your professor whether you're allowed to do that or not because that would actually, you wouldn't show work if you did that and you know some professors don't really like that. Um, as a backup, you can always try to figure it out mentally and then apply the formula and make sure that what you came up with is the answer that um, is given. So what number is halfway between negative 3 and negative 5? Well, let's see. Negative 3 plus negative 5 divided by 2. And then the y coordinates, what's halfway between 8 and 12? Well, we can figure that out by adding them up and dividing by 2. Negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8. So that's negative 8 divided by 2. 8 plus 12 is 20. 20 divided by 2. And then finally, we have our ordered pair. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. So we can verify that that makes sense. Is negative 4 the same distance from negative 3 as it is from negative 5? Yeah, it's one unit from each. Is 10 the same distance from 8 as it is from 12? Yes, it is a distance of 2 away from each. We can quickly check to make sure that our midpoint is reasonable. If you end up with like negative 10, or in this case, if you subtracted, you might end up with negative 2. For your y coordinate, there's no way that negative 2 is the same distance from 8 as it is from 12. So you might be able to catch a mistake if you make one just by doing a quick check for uh, making sure that it's a sound answer. So that would be the, the coordinates of the midpoint for letter A. For letter B, we want to find the uh, coordinates of the midpoint when we're given these. I'm going to call this one x1, y1, and this point x2, y2. And then we can plug into the midpoint formula. So we're adding up the x coordinates. That's 4 plus negative 4. Then we divide by 2. And then we add up the y coordinates, 7 plus negative 1, and divide by 2. 
Uh, 4 plus negative 4 is 0, so that's 0 divided by 2. 7 plus negative 1 is 6, 6 divided by 2. Uh, 0 divided by 2 is 0, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we see the coordinates of the midpoint are 0, 3.